Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. I'm going to keep this uh, talk short. And basically, I'm just having fun messing around here with the play. Uh, I really like the immediacy of it. Uh, you know, put whatever samples you want on here. Uh, I just use the built-in ones that come with it. Uh, every now and then, Pollyann comes out with, uh, uh, I, I think if you sign up for the newsletter, they do these free sample packs every now and then. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but bottom line, just put what you want on here. And I know that other people have different thoughts and ways, and I'm trying really to avoid all that noise and just play more. And I was going to try and break down what I did, but I'll be honest with you, <laughs> I, I kind of got a little tripped up in putting some things on here. And there were a couple of sounds in here that I think I just made some mistakes. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it and just have fun. And I think that's really all I want to put across, well, really in any video that I do, but really with this. Um, was the performance a masterpiece? Who cares? Was it something that was a banger? Who cares? I had fun. And I really am enjoying the process of just kind of putting various uh, steps down here on the sequencer. I love the grid layout. It just gives me this visualization uh, the one thing that I want to start exploring a little bit more is this parameter lock to borrow from another device uh, because I keep hearing that being used with that other piece of gear that, to be honest with you, I, I think it would be kind of fun to get into a used um, original. I think many of you know what I'm referring to. Yet, as I look at that, I'm like, you know what? I can do those things on here. And it doesn't have to be a one-for-one -one match, but it's fun. And so I've been kind of messing around with some of that. And I, I just, to me, the perform mode is fun. I know at first glance, if you've never messed with this, it seems like a lot. And I'll be honest with you, when I first got into this, it's like, how do I remember all that? I'm like, you know what? Who cares? You, you, it's like muscle memory. You start to, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of this one here, this going down repeat. You may have noticed in a couple of videos, I kind of go to that. And that's okay. Um, I love that I can just kind of slide down and change the filter cutoff. I mean, it's it's fun stuff. I've got eight tracks. You know, I can just have one dedicated for a kick, a clap, or snare, or I can kind of mix and match. I'm only using 16 steps in this particular jam. I've got up to 128. But again, I don't know that I really need all that. But if I want that, I have that option. I did a video where I only did four steps, and, and that was super fun. Uh, I did do some chants and randomization. I, I really like that. And again, I think that kind of goes to that parameter lock. I can, that's what I was also kind of doing, so I think I just kind of contradicted myself. I did a little bit of that. I think it was actually here on uh, the kick, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I changed the volume on the steps on here. Um, trying to think what else did I change on here? Yeah, I put it, oops, 
Yeah, I removed it. I think I put some reverb on one step. I, I did actually mess around. That's what I'm saying. I, I completely got lost. So I actually set up this pattern a few days ago and, and now recording this. Um, that's another thing that it's fun about this device. I can just turn it off. You know, I come up with a little sketch. I turn it off. I don't even have to save it. When I turn it back on, that pattern is here. Now, here's, a, here's another thing to throw at you. With the circuit tracks, I can do the same thing, create a little pattern or sketch, turn it off, and it's gone. And I kind of like that workflow. I personally don't really get into saving things a lot, even though I have done that, but it's not a priority for me. But it's nice just having the option. So if I come and mess with, with something here, shut it down for the night, come back to it, and then do this little recording. All right, I'm talking long enough. The, the purpose really is not to focus on any of the gear that I show you. It's really to have fun. So whatever you're using, have fun with it. Explore, experiment, play. And who knows what you may come up with. And then if you're someone who is further along in, in me in terms of you're not a, a hobbyist amateur, you're out there really grinding and trying to make stuff and put out songs, do that. If you're stuck, if you can't find some kind of idea, just start throwing stuff down on whatever canvas you have and play around with it. Don't overthink things. Have fun. That's really what I hope you take away from these videos. Thank you for your time. Get out there. Have a lot of fun. You know the drill. I do hope to catch you in another video. Until then, keep jamming.